Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look and you're probably like Gretchen, where are you right now? What is this background? I'm actually in Mandy's little freshman dorm room here at USC, um, but I've been wanting to film this for so long and today I have some time because Lucy and I are here just chilling during the day, Mandy has class, we're gonna go shopping later, but this is something that I've wanted to show you guys literally for so long. Um, I keep it pretty natural like day to day and I feel like I just haven't done like a makeup video in so long that I've been like meaning to show you what I do on like a daily basis because I get some questions um i have pretty good skin right now i'm like pretty tanned because i just got back from curacao so yeah i feel like recently my skin's been a lot better from just being like really simple with my skin using like simple really natural like cleansers and moisturizers you guys know i did a morning routine recently where i showed you like my morning skincare oh take a breath gretchen <laughs> i showed you my morning skincare routine um just using like bioclarity sometimes you use purity by philosophy anyway that's just like how i get my skin to be the way it is Okay, can the train not right now? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you. And you, like, okay, literally don't roast me in the comments right now. You're about to be like, you're so extra. Basically, I brought my little mirror with me that I use. Um, it's just the Vanity Planet Gleam Mirror. I will have it linked down below, but basically I've used this for so long for my makeup and I have like the little light on right now that's why the lighting's so good it's like a little ring light um and this is just so good for my makeup it's a little hefty so I don't know if I would normally recommend traveling with it but I literally brought it to Curacao with me and like I went from Curacao straight to USC and then I'm going back to Boston tonight um but I brought this with me because I was like I want like a mirror that I know is gonna be good for my makeup and I feel like for day to day it's just really helpful and like you can see everything but especially for like going out um like at nighttime when I put on like way more makeup like thick eyelash is you know the whole shebang whole deal um just having like really good lighting to do my makeup is so important and i just love that this is like such good lighting and it has like different settings which is really cool like wait there we go that's like more natural and then there's like different levels of like light so yeah all right spit out my gum and what i was saying is it has like three settings so it's cool natural and warm normally i'll just have it mm, i feel like on cool or warm um, not really natural because like, I don't know. I feel like that one Actually, that probably would be good for your makeup because that's like what it looks like outside But yeah, like right now it's on warm and that's just like what I feel like is normal Um, and also I like this is what I like the most because I'm so lazy and always forget to turn it off After 15 minutes it like automatically shuts off because it has like a little auto timer So that's really nice. It runs on battery. So it's cordless. That was like the biggest thing for me Um, because if you guys know like I literally was like researching for a while and this one has like so many good reviews and is like way more affordable So that's why I went with this one But I was looking at like I think it's called the simple human one and it's like 200 bucks And I'm like Gretchen do you need that like that's so extra But I wanted one without like a cord that plugged in because I had one before of these that had a cord But like that's just like annoying and I wanted a cordless one so having one without a cord is super helpful and that's what I like the most and I know I have a little discount code for you guys I forget what it is so I'm gonna insert it right here as meta thing okay so without further ado I just talked forever let's get on into it so as I said my skin's like pretty good right now because it's like tanned it's a little bit peely on my nose especially I can see in this mirror because um, it's like such good quality and like lighting you know oh and this side isn't magnified but the other side is seven times magnified yeah so that's really good when you're like plucking your eyebrows and stuff hello hi there we are okay so what I'm gonna start off with is concealer and this is like a day one I feel like literally when I started YouTube in like freshman year of high school I was using this and yeah and I know it looks really light that's because it is and I always go for like a really light under eye I just really like the way it looks and it's like really brightening so yeah um and just as time as <laughs> throughout time I feel like my makeup has just gotten like really simple I used to put on so much and now like day to day I really don't wear much at all like there's definitely a lot of days where I literally wear none especially okay can this focus on me please thank you I feel like a lot of October I was just working out so much because you guys know I did like 30 days of soul cycle so I really rarely put on makeup unless I was like going out at night or had like a little event or like a reason to wear makeup so I just kind of blend that all in okay then I grab some stuff to show you because they're like my favorite even though I don't really wear them day to day so basically I if I'm gonna use like foundation or like CC cream I use it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream as like SPF 50 in it it's so good this one's really tan this is the shade tan um, when I'm like the most tan I get I use this one and yeah I would use this but I don't really wear this day to day unless like 
I don't know, I want to look like extra flawless that day, but I've been using, okay, and this is really old, people are going to like, don't roast me in the comments of this video, this is so old, this is NC30 MAC Studio Fix Powder, I think I've had this since middle school, it looks like that, but I like it because it's such like a full coverage like foundation powder, um, I hope they still sell it because when this runs out, I'll like get it again, and yeah, I just kind of put it all over my face, um, and it literally looks like you have like liquid on, like I feel like it's just such like a good full coverage powder. This is probably gross. You, this is probably like old packaging too and you can tell that this is like really old. Can my camera stop going out of focus? Okay, thank you. Thank y'all. Yeah, so I just kind of do some of that. And it's like a little light for me, especially right now. So I just go in with some bronzer. This is my favorite part. Um, this is the dark chocolate Soleil Too Faced bronzer. And I also have the normal one. Um, but since I'm tan right now, I'm going to use this one. And it's so dark. I love it. Um, and yeah, I used to use this brush, like an actual like contour bronzy brush, but now I just kind of like using my big one. I also need to wash my brushes. I've been getting like so lazy and gross with my makeup. Like it's old and dirty and yeah, <laughs> don't, don't judge me. So I just go like that, do some of that. Oh yeah, nice and bronzy. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I just love being tan. And then I do my forehead. This is my favorite spot to put bronzer because I feel like when you're sun-kissed, you just have like the tan there, you know? On my neck a little bit, just to blend it all together. And actually, I was gonna go like that on my nose when I'm lazy, I do that. But when I'm feeling funky, I learned, like in the spring, I think, I use this little eyeshadow brush and I like contour my nose a little bit because I feel like it just, I don't know, makes it look really skinny and cute. It's kind of my like favorite part of my makeup too. I just freaking love bronzer. I feel like it looks better when you have like actual foundation on and stuff. Oh my gosh, my nose is peeling. If you can see like little pieces of skin flaking off my nose, yeah, it's cause it's peeling. Do you see? And then you can kind of just like blend it all in. And then, um, okay, so I guess I'll do this. It literally just depends on the day. Normally I'm lazy and I don't put like any primer on my eyes, um, but if I do put on eyeshadow, I use this like little NARS primer. It's so dirty from being in my makeup bag. But um, yeah, a lot of days I'll just put bronzer like in my crease because I feel like it just blends all in and it's just like easier than going to find eyeshadow. So I just do a little bit of that. And literally the other day I was like, okay, Max, like <laughs> testing him. I was like, what makeup am I wearing? And it was really funny. I remember the first time I asked him, I think he was like, oh, you're wearing eyeliner. And I was like, no, I'm not wearing eyeliner. It was like very natural makeup. And he was like, then what's that stuff on your eyelashes? I'm like, mascara. Boys are so funny. Anyway. Um, and he was like, you're wearing eyeshadow. And I'm like, okay, like, no, but sort of. Like, I'll give it to you because, like, when you put this on your eyes, it kind of looks like eyeshadow, you know? And it's just, like, really simple and blends all together. So I just kind of put it in my crease, blend it all around. I've gotten very lazy with my makeup, if you couldn't tell. So it like looks like eyeshadow, you know, but it's like goes with the whole, the whole vibe of just kind of being like natural. And now this way it won't crease since I put on um, primer. And I know if I don't put on, oh wait, this is the primer. That was my eyebrow stuff. And I know if I don't put on primer that it's going to get creased, but sometimes I just like don't care, you know, so <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and I kind of change up the order every day. Let's just do mascara now because I'm feeling like I look naked. And you guys know that I had eyelash extensions for like the longest time, but I've kind of liked them being like natural recently, and I have pretty short eyelashes naturally. But yeah, I just like being able to like rub my eyes and like touch them and not always be like, Phew. so yeah. Um, I really don't know like anything about mascara anymore since I haven't used it in like two years But I literally just grabbed these from Target and was like, okay, whatever So I at first wanted waterproof one like a waterproof mascara because my friend Louisa has like the best eyelashes And she's like my secret is using waterproof mascara because apparently it's supposed to like hold the curl better So I literally just the first one that I saw that was waterproof I grabbed and it's Maybelline the rocket volume express So I've been using this for a while, but then I was like, oh my gosh I hate taking it off like you have to like scrub your eyes so sometimes I don't want to do that like if I'm like in Curacao when I was like in the water like out during the day if I wanted to put on mascara I'd you know use the waterproof but sometimes I don't want to use waterproof anymore and I just want it to be able to come off easily or easier later so I think I'm gonna use this one and this is just the falsies like normal one or falsies flared but it's not waterproof and the reason I got this one is because my friend Hannah uses it and yeah I think like I need to be like a makeup 
guru maven and now I feel like I don't know anything and I just kind of do what my friends do and I definitely curl my eyelashes biggest tip if you have short eyelashes because it makes such a difference so yeah this is so funny to watch it looks like I'm torturing myself um so we just do some of that I really don't wear eyeliner day to day anymore I used to um but I don't know I just go the natural now and I just put on some of this I always get it on my eyelids because, yeah, and I have to take it off with a Q-tip, but that's okay. Oh my god, maybe today I won't. Look at me go. And usually I'll do like, oh, nope, I did. <laughs> usually I'll do like two coats, um, because then I just feel like it's really like, look at that. They already look so much better. I swear they're like pretty short though, like naturally. So to get them to look like this, I feel like this mascara is really like volume up. Gretchen. <laughs> I feel like it's really volumizing and like lengthening, um, which is what your girl needs. So love this. And yeah, some days if I'm really lazy though, I don't even put on mascara. Like if I'm going to class, I'll literally just put bronzer all over my face and I'm like, done. <laughs> it really just depends on like how much time I have, how I'm how I'm feeling. Oh, I've been meaning to say since the beginning of this video, what I wanted to say is I do miss doing my makeup though and like talking to you guys. And I feel like people always ask like what makeup I wear day to day. So that's what this is. And people ask like what makeup I'm wearing like when I go out and it's definitely a lot more and like more intensive. So if you want to see like the my, just like my normal look when I go out, my typical look, I'll always wear one of two lips. I can just show you right now. Um, the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits like the matte ones i've had these forever i either use coco k or candy k so whenever people ask me like if i have a lip color what color it is it's always going to be coco k or candy k because those are pretty much the only two i use maybe sometimes it'll be like different like lip gloss or something but usually it's just that and yeah like day to day i literally wear chapstick oh my gosh which reminds me i'm literally it's not in here it's my other bag don't go anywhere this is my favorite chapstick of all time I know I've talked about it before and now I've started linking it down below like in every video description of mine it's just that good and if you haven't tried it what are you doing because literally the first time I use it my life has been changed forever I'm not even being dramatic like I actually mean it I'm never going back I just ordered like three more on Sephora because I need like all of them I need like a I need a car version a pocket version a makeup bag version like I need this everywhere I go and it's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Cup of co I don't know how to say it. Lip butter. Yeah, basically just this whole de Janeiro Brazilian kiss. And I'm obsessed with that. So that's just what I have my lips day today. Wow, I am all over the place. Can I like chill out for a second? Still doing my mascara, but um what was I saying? Yeah, if you want to see the makeup I wear when I go out, because I'll like put on fake eyelashes and do the whole deal, just comment down below because I can do that for you guys. We can make it like a really fun get ready with me. Cause you know I like usually go out the bars on the weekends I'm a social gal I love you know seeing all my people out and about we have a fun time me and Max tear up the dance floor I actually like, really can this please stop unfocusing on me like why is it so important behind me hello <laughs> I was saying I love tearing up the dance floor I actually really love dancing what is my hand <laughs> my hand is like this I'm like <laughs> What is going on? Uh. What's kind of scary about this mirror though is that, I mean right now it's just on like the normal magnification one, but when you put it on the seven times magnification one, you're like, whoa, I can see every pore and like every little hair that I forgot to pluck between my eyebrows and like you look, you have a unibrow, but like it's fine, it's totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna take off the mascara on my eyelids in like a sec, but first, I'm gonna do my blush, because I love doing blush. I actually lost my blush brush. Hannah, did you take it? I think my friend Hannah took it. If you're watching this, I think you took it. But like, it's fine, I don't care. I just used my bronzer brush, because <laughs> I'm too lazy to get another brush. And I'm using NARS, oh my god, this is so graphic. Can you just read it? There, you can read it, because I don't feel like saying it. <laughs> but I actually really like this blush. Um, it's been like a, it's been a staple, it's been a go-to for a while. I think I didn't use it for a while, and then I like found it in my makeup drawer, and I was like, sister, you're such a pretty color, I miss you. So I just kinda do some of that. Pretty natural. And then another favorite part of my makeup routine, I change highlighters all the time, mostly because I break the one that I had before, so then I have to get a new one. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I've broken like three of them, and this is probably my fourth one. And this is Champagne Pop by Becca, because you guys know, if you drop this, that's just the end. Like they're so finely milled, finely made. They're like really fine. Oh. I think I've had this on for 15 minutes. There we go. Um, yeah, they're so finely pressed, whatever it is, that they literally 
break immediately and like crumble if you drop them. So luckily, knock on wood, haven't dropped this one yet. And I was using the, what's Rihanna's makeup line? Oh, the Fenty highlighter for a while, love that one too. Also broke that one, so that's why I got this one. Okay, also, actually I always use my blush brush to put highlighter on, but now I kinda use my fingers cause like I lost my blush brush and like I don't really care. Wait, I think I want this on the warm setting, yeah. I go like that. This is how I always used to do highlighter anyway. Hello, hello. Yeah, lazy girl's guide to highlighter. Just like that. And then you're like a glowing little glaze. Donut. I love my favorite spot is putting it on the tip of my nose because you literally, look at it. <laughs> and sometimes you can go down the middle. You just look like a little glaze donut. Okay, I need a Q-tip. This mascara is driving me bonkers and it probably is driving you nuts too. Okay, I think I still have, yep, still have a bunch of highlighter on my finger. So then I'll go with that on the inner corner of my eyes. Hello? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just put it on the inner corner of my eyes because I feel like you just look like bright and awake. And then I put it underneath my eyebrows that are horribly fluffy right now and need to be plucked, but that's okay. Um, also, I used to do like crazy things to my eyebrows and really draw them on and now going with the natural vein of things I really just use this tinted eyebrow gel which I'm pretty sure oh yeah it's glossier but it's all like rubbed off because it's really old I don't know if you see that yeah anyway just tinted brow gel the natural and I just kind of paint my eyebrows no it's just like kind of combs them into place and makes them stay but also like can I stop not focusing on me I'm trying to do my makeup camera there we go see and it tints it so the ends of my eyebrows that are like really bald just kind of look less bald <laughs> I don't know why my eyebrows have always done that do any of your eyebrows do that where they just literally don't grow in that one spot on the ends and then they're kind of sparse in the front too so I just brush them like that it fills them in a bit and yeah I just feel like this is a lot more natural than when I would make them like a square block in the front so yeah, just a bit more natural. I think that's everything. Yeah, I already did my chapstick, highlighter, blush, bronzer, eyebrow, mascara. We could put on a little more mascara. Let's just do like a little bit more while I have you here. And while I have you, is there anything else I want to tell you? I don't know. College is going great this semester. Um, I could probably, you know, pay attention to my studies a little bit more. But senioritis, what can I say? I'm almost done. I feel like I have one foot out the door, so it's hard to focus on my studies sometimes. But they're still going well. I really enjoy them. Marketing, you know, is bae, as always. A lot of people question whether or not I'm still in school, and I am. I just made it so I have class Tuesday, Thursday, so I can travel a bunch. And I've said that in videos before, but literally every comment on my Instagram is like, hello, do you go to school, sister? And I'm like, yes, I do. Um, like, today's Monday, and I'm flying back to Boston tonight. I get in at, like, 1 a.m., and I'm going to have a full day of class tomorrow, but... That's okay. So yeah, this is like my, <laughs> this is my everyday little makeup, the natural, just mascara, face stuff. So yeah. Um, oh wait, if I can, yeah, I'll like link all my little makeup products I just showed you down below so you can get the same ones and find them if you want them because I really like them and they're just what I've been using for a while. And don't forget, I will have the Gleam Mirror from Vanity Planet linked down below because like literally try it out if you've been looking for a good little vanity mirror for a while that's like cordless, has like a magnifying side, good lighting, like that makes you glow when you do your makeup and you're like, huh. Definitely try it out. Don't go buy the like $200 simple human one like I almost did because that's legit dumb. Um, save your money for something else. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.